Hi, I'm Grace Friedman from the Nocturnal. Hey there, Hello. Grace. Hi. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. The show's awesome. I just studied abroad in London last semester, so I loved watching it. And I could like pick up some of the places. It was pretty cool. I love London. Oh, I, um, love I love that. But um, first of all, what can fans expect from season three of Trying? Well, you know, I think the best TV shows uh, satisfy uh, your audience whilst at the same time confounding their expectations. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we have a very loyal fan base of people that uh, love the show. And you don't just like the show, people love it. You know, it's important to people. Um, and so I think it's going to, I think it's going to, um, it's my favorite season we've done yet. And uh, it's got all of the heart, uh, the moving moments. It deals with uh, pretty heavy subjects, but with, with uh, lightness and alarm and uh, fun. And um, it's about two people that just really love each other and want to spread their love to, to a couple of little kids. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what's so special about the show is it's a, it covers topics that are typically make people uncomfortable and like that you wouldn't really want to like per se watch but you guys the way you portray it it makes it more relatable it makes it less scary I don't know I think it's really special um obviously you guys are pros at this by now going into season three did you kind of feel like you've found your rhythm was it where did you feel really prepared going into the season what made this season different than season two and season one well, I think that's the that's the joy of having done two se seasons and going into season three. You do really feel like you know this world and these characters. And for me, it kind of it feels like there's no time in between uh, doing the show. Um, so there there is that element of feeling prepared that way. But also, you also never know where the story is going to go. So there's always that kind of um, I guess excitement with it. So yeah to explore it that way as well um also as well this season we've got two children on set with us which inevitably meant that the the set environment felt a bit different um because they're you know they're these two really lovely brilliant uh innocent uh people who bring such a lovely sense of fun to the set um which was just so lovely to have You're talking about me talking about you. <laughs> uh -huh. that <laughs> that covered my next question i mean princess and tyler are precious and i'm sure it that was so fun getting to work with them and was that i don't know did i'm sure that changed the whole dynamic how everything was on set i'm sure it was all completely different having two young children i'm always amazed yeah, by reminded. child actors yeah I, know, yeah, I know. Me too. Uh, I think that it actually does a really good job of reminding you why you got into this, into this silly profession in the first place is because it's supposed to be fun. Uh, they would come onto set and they would just like, you know, like Mickey, the little guy who plays um, Tyler would always want to do the clapperboard and like, mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's, it's just because it is magic and it is a lovely way to spend your life. And it's long, grueling hours, but like it's special. Like we we get dressed up and and wear foundation and get paid for it. It's, <laughs> it's really fun. Uh -huh. We also make more of an event of things as well. So like when we were filming, we had, um, oh, Halloween. Um, mm -hmm. We dropped. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we had <laughs> Halloween. So, so everyone made like a real, you know, real thing about for Halloween and they went around trick-or-treating with their little boxes. Mm -hmm. Um, you went around trick or treating as well. Okay, didn't fine. You? It was more for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lastly, just what do you hope viewers take away from the show? Um, I hope they take away. I, I guess more of the same from the series one and series two that that life isn't necessarily what you expect it to be, and um, and that's okay. And you just have to keep tr trying with it i guess <laughs> like the like it says on the tin like i think we have such expectation of what we think our life is going to be like and it never turns out that way and life is messy and hard and that can make things painful but 
I guess it's also how you choose to meet it. And I think Nikki and Jason get a lot of things thrown at them, but through it all, I guess, love and their willingness to just want to make it through um, propels them forward. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well um, said. I love that. Well, congratulations. I'm a huge fan of the show. I'm a huge fan of both of you. And yeah, I wish you both the best of luck on everything. Thank you so much. Very kind of you.